Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 25th of 2021. Well, it is titled Andromeda in a single shot. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Andromeda galaxy as pictured here and that we can see um, over this large chimney pointing up directly towards it. So a very well timed image to be able to see it and making it look like perhaps you're shooting towards the Andromeda galaxy. Now the Andromeda galaxy is two and a half million light years away and it is the most distant object that you can at least easily see with the naked eye. Now it will not look anything like this in a much longer exposure you can bring out far more detail. But if you know where to look in the constellation of Andromeda you can actually see the Andromeda galaxy as a fuzzy patch and generally you have to look at it for look for it out of the corner of your eye you can't just stare right out at it because that their eye will be more sensitive to the faint light if you're not looking directly at the object. Now the Andromeda galaxy is a spiral galaxy and is very uh, uh, very large similar to our Milky Way galaxy and what we know is that the, ga uh, the Andromeda galaxy and our Milky Way are actually approaching closer and closer together. So that means that it will appear to get larger. Now will you ever notice this over your lifetime? Certainly not that even though it's moving very fast, the distances are so vast at two and a half million light years that you can't begin to kind of imagine the amount of time that it will take for this to get here. And it will take it about 5 billion years. And of course, a time frame for us of 5 billion years is longer than Earth has been around. But by that point, it will actually be close enough that to our galaxy that it will span the entire sky and look like almost a second Milky Way as our Milky Way galaxy stretches across the entire sky. From our perspective within it, Andromeda will do something very similar in about 5 billion years. Unfortunately, for those of us here on Earth, we will not be here in 5 billion years because that relates to about the same time that our sun will reach the end of its life and will likely have expanded and eliminated any possibility of there being any kind of life on Earth, eventually completely vaporizing the planet and incorporating it into the star itself. So while we our Earth may not be around to be able to see this, it certainly is something that we can tell will happen in about 5 billion years, we will see a collision of galaxies between our our Milky Way and Andromeda. And as we've looked at with many other images in the past, galaxy collisions have occurred and will distort the two galaxies. So when galaxies collide, they don't crash into each other. They kind of pass through each other, but their gravitational fields will distort them. And from, for a, from the view of a distant observer, the Milky Way and Andromeda will be all distorted for a while, possibly eventually combining into one single larger galaxy after hundreds of millions of years beyond that. So that was our picture of the day for June the 25th of 2021. It was titled Andromeda in a single shot. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. A preview to be pixels in the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.